What's up fam, welcome back to the channel for another video. And I know, I know, I know, I know, okay? Uh, I know a bunch of you have been constantly telling me how much you've been anxiously waiting to see what I've done with the cable management on my new standing desk that I installed, I guess, how long ago was that? Jeez, it's been like, I think it's been like two months, hasn't it? Whoops. Well, anyway, if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and click up here and uh, check it out. So anyway, guys, today is the day and we're going to make some cable management magic happen. And I'm going to give you guys my top tips for helping you manage that cable mess in your own setup. Now to get this thing started, let's talk about my own setup back there. So like I said, I have a standing desk setup now, so cable management presents some unique challenges to me that I really haven't had to deal with in the past before. So starting with the first thing I suggest you guys do, and again, this is mainly aimed at standing desk, uh, and that is to move your desk to the highest setting that you use it at to give you an idea how much slack you're actually gonna need in those cables uh, to move with the desk and not get ripped out of your computer monitors when you go ahead and lift it up or, or make it go back down. And trust me, with a desk set up like this or the one I have back here, you need cables that are a, quite a bit longer than normal to ensure that they not only can reach all the way from your computer to your monitors and accessories, but you'll actually have enough cable to route them properly. And this is something that can actually uh, be used with regular desk setups as well because you know having extra cable is always okay. So to help with this, I bought two nine foot long display port 1.4 cables to extend the reach of my displays to my PC all the way to the right side of my desk. And I bought a pack of nine foot USB 3.0 extension cables so I can actually still use all of my USB pass throughs behind my monitors as well as the ones that are integrated into my monitor arm. Again, this is mainly to make sure that my cable runs are clean and will be routed where I want them. To also route my cables better and keep them cleaner, I also picked up a pack of cable sleeving that I hope will allow me to actually group up all of my cables together and sleeve them all in this cover so that even when I extend my desk up and down, it won't look like a cluttered mess coming up and down like it used to. So these covers are from a company called Alex Tech that I found on Amazon. And the one that I got is 25 feet long by one inch round uh, of black sleeving so you can actually cut it to your own desired length uh, and wrap your cables in it though. The, so the reason I bought this whole long length is honestly because I didn't know how much cable I'm gonna actually need, so I made sure that I had more than less. But you may not need that much. But I also actually bought a pack of these black cable sleeves that wrap around your cables and have zippers that keep them together too. I bought these first and I started out thinking that I may need something with a bit uh, more circumference after that. That's why I picked up the Alex Tech ones that are a bit thicker. Uh, but we'll see which one ends up working and I may end up using both of them at the end. So just to get this out of the way, you guys, I basically went into this knowing that these cable runs will probably be visible under the desk with my standing desk ability to raise and lower. And uh, you know, this is the best option that I could find to tidy everything up and still leave some slack in the cable so they don't basically pull out when I raise my desk. So kind of, you know, completely hiding them is not an option for me. But if you have a stationary desk, you can obviously do that. All right, now that you have your desk set up in the position that you want it to be in, it's time to start with my second tip and that is planning your cable runs. Now this is super important and now this is where a bit of trial and error may be coming into play as you need to kind of mostly plug everything in and route your cables down the back of your desk and let them hang down so you can actually plan from there where you want them to go. At this point if you have a similar option like me I have with my monitor arms you can actually route your cables into the, uh, the monitor arms cable management uh, spots and hiding the cables and making them run down the back of the desk to make it look super, super clean right there. Uh, but if you don't have this option available like I do here, you can actually use my third tip and that is using these Velcro cable ties to Velcro your cables to either your monitor stand or like your monitor arm or something if you happen to use one. And uh, these come in different lengths, widths, and actually colors too. But I mainly use these to actually tie my cables to different things or to actually bundle the cables together to make them easier to deal with when I'm running them under my setup. Now I want you to all keep in mind that your setup will most likely, actually it will be different than mine, but the way you go about doing some of this cable management is pretty similar to what I'm gonna be doing here. So some may prefer to actually run each cable one by one to ensure they're in the correct spot that you want it, but I already had my setup you know, plugged in everything like you guys know, so I'm just gonna work with all the cables plugged in already because that's what I prefer. Uh, and this means I'll probably have to maybe move a th few things around, but again, that's okay with for me because I already sort of have an idea of what I wanna do with them. And now this brings me to my fourth tip, and that is having some sort of cable management option underneath your desk. Now, this may seem very obvious, but uh, you'll be surprised how many people don't do this, and there are a couple different options out there for this. 
Now in my specific case, I use the autonomous desk and it actually has an option to purchase a cable tray that actually integrates into the back of the desk. And this is huge when it comes to my ability to route and hide cables under there. Now, if you don't have a desk setup with an option like this, then don't worry. I actually have some other options for you guys too. So first, you can pick up one of the ever popular Ikea Signum trays that I actually used to use on my old desk setup. And uh, it basically helps you hide your cables and hold your power strips and all that kind of stuff. And these are super versatile and install super easy as well. So I highly recommend them. Uh, basically, if you know how to get a drill, drill a couple of screws in the bottom of the desk, you're good to go. Now, on the other hand, if you want a toolless option, there are also these J channel raceways that I actually used to use in one of my first setups in the past. And they're also very good for running cables underneath your desk and they don't require any tools to install at all. You basically just have to grab them, peel the adhesives off the back of them and stick them on the bottom of your desk. They're very easy to use, but again, they're not as versatile as the other options we've listed uh, in that you can only route the cables basically in one direction with them. And of course, there are also other options out there on Amazon and wherever else to get this job done as well. But these are just a couple of options that I personally have used in the past and I can say from my own experience work very well. And now for my fifth tip for you guys before we actually get started with moving some cables around, and that is to plan out what power sources you have available to make sure you buy the kind of power strips that you'll need uh, that will actually help making your cable runs cleaner. And what I mean by that is the certain things like routers, for instance, they always have some crazy big and thick power supply that can take up a ton of space on a power strip uh, and it'll keep a couple of your, your strip um, ports from being used. So having a power strip that is actually made for things like this can really save you some time in searching where to plug your desk items into and save you space when you finally are getting everything plugged in. All right, so now that we have pretty much gone through all of the pre-planning phase for this, yeah, uh, it's about that time to get under the desk and start cleaning up those cables. So here we go. All right guys, so it goes without saying that a lot of the work that goes into cable management is really just more cable hiding. At least in my case anyway, that's kind of how I go about it. So I took as much of my cable as I possibly could and fit it in the cable tray underneath my desk and just basically shoved it in there all the way, still keeping in mind that uh, I was going to have to sleeve all those cables later on that were actually still exposed outside the tray. So as I showed earlier, I took my cable sleeves and cut them to size for the lengths of the cable that needed to be sleeved up and got ready to put them all on and covered. So, oh, a little side note about those uh, cable sleeves actually. They actually can fray a little bit on the ends when you cut them. So you just need to take a lighter and burn the extra bits off. It's, it's pretty simple stuff, guys, but just be careful when you do it. But anyway, with those prepared, I was able to sleeve up pretty much everything under my desk and get it mostly out of the way. 
Now, I noticed that the circumference I got for the certain sleeves were actually a little bit large for one of my cables. So I did end up using those little zippered cable sleeves because they were a bit smaller. And uh, these work really great too, and they're really easy to use to hide those unwanted, unwanted cables, especially the thinner ones. Now after that, all I had to do was tidy up a few loose cables running from various things like my mic arm, my headphones, and my LEDs. And now they actually make these nifty cable holders that adhere the, to the bottom of your desk they can use to route your cables underneath it. And I'll leave a link below for these things. But of course, for this video, I didn't have any, so I just used some black duct tape to stick those cables out of the way. And this is typically what I've done before, and it makes it very easy if you guys just have some tape. And now all I gotta say, fam, is man, look at the difference. So this whole process really only took me about an hour or two hours, and yes, it was very tedious, super annoying. I'm not the biggest fan of cable management, but it really makes a world of difference when you're trying to show off your entire setup, and it just keeps everything looking a lot more clean and tidy. Now, yes, if you're like me and you like custom coiled cables and certain peripherals that happen to be wired like your headphones or a mouse uh, from time to time, uh, some, of the, some of those will actually be out and showing all the time. Um, but again, I personally wasn't going for any kind of like completely cableless setup. So I think certain cables such as those are actually kind of stylish accents and they have their place in a setup. Most of all, the main areas of the setup are completely free of cable clutter now and are so much more pleasing to the eye, and that's exactly what cable management is all about, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video, and hopefully you learned a little something from me today uh, to take to your own setup. And if you did, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. And while you guys are down there, be sure to go ahead and drop the video a like and get subscribed with those notifications on so that you'll always know when a new stream or a new video like this one will be going live on the RA Visuals channel. So that is all I have today for you guys, fam. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.